At TP3, we create integration technologies for flex systems as well as stretchable systems. Uh, what we do is, for example, we, I'll start with stretchable systems. Here, there is a, a stretchable organic LED-based lighting, um, which is um, encapsulated in a, uh, basically a rubber matrix. Uh, this can be stretched as well as flexed so that it conforms to the shape of whatever object you want to wrap it around. This, this, application, this can be used, for example, as a jaundice blanket for small babies because blue light has curative properties. If I move to this one, this is an example of textile integration, also conformable, where organic LEDs are bonded onto uh, conductive yarns that are woven into the matrix of this textile. So this can also create large area lighting on textile, basically. And if I move to uh, flex applications on foil, this example here shows the ability to capability of TP3 to bond um, packaged components. On one side you have uh, photodetectors or photodiodes, on the other side you have LEDs, and these are connected via, uh, well, multiple vias. So each photodiode is connected to a LED. So if I block the light from one side, you can see that the LEDs don't function anymore because there is no transmission of charges to the other side. And there are four replicas of the same demonstrator uh, we wanted to show that we can reproduce this and that the technology can be transferred to external partners like Philips Greenhouse where this was made. Um, this is another example of a large area flexible application. This is called as a smart blister uh, where uh, this circuitry can register when the pill is consumed by the patient and the data can be transferred to the doctor so that he or she can monitor the patient's well-being. If I move a bit further to this side, this is a typical, um, in fact, very clear large area application, something called a store skin, which we develop in collaboration with a company called Plastic Electronic in Austria. Uh, these entities can be placed on shop shelves and they act as sensors. So when you remove a product, the sensors get actuated because of capacitance change and the event is registered by a software so that the shopkeeper can keep track of the movement of the goods as well as inventory. So this is, in general, what we do at TP3.